How's it going, everybody? This is Craig Bush Rocks. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to talk about some PlayStation 3 hidden gems. Someone made a comment on a post I did on Metal Jesus' page. They're saying, How you got to do a hidden gems? I did hidden gems before, they're buried in my videos, but I did. I just pulled out some random games for hidden gems and stuff like that. You guys should, you know, people should check out. And you can let me know in the comments below what your favorite hidden gem on the PS3 is. I might have to do an Xbox one someday, too, and I get more games for the Xbox. But for right now, it's PS3, and stay tuned for tomorrow, because this ain't all of them, but these are some pickups for some PS3, and I'm waiting for some more to come in the mail if they come in tomorrow. So that would be tomorrow's video. But for today, it's some hidden gems. We're going to start off with the first game. It's a Ridge Racer game. You know, everybody knows about Ridge Racer, but not everybody knows about this one. And this is a hidden gem. It, it didn't get so it, you know, it didn't get the praise that it's supposed to. I think I thought this game was pretty cool. I originally played this on the Xbox 360, and I got the PlayStation 3 version. That's Ridge Racer Unbounded. This was a pretty fun game. They try to do like the burnout um, games and stuff like that. Have like where you can crash into things. It's a pretty sweet game. If you get a chance to check this one out, it's a pretty sweet hidden gem. It's I like it. I don't think I played the PS3 version yet. I probably bought this at a store or got it on eBay or something like that. But I did play it. I played it on the Xbox 360 and I liked it. And it's a lot of fun. Next one I'm going to talk about. It's made by Quantic Dreams. It, it was, this When this game first came out, it might have picked up a little praise for it and stuff like that. I'm not sure how it reviewed, but it's still a hidden gem because not a lot of people talk about this game. And that's um, Al Ellen Page and William Defoe's Beyond Two Souls. This is a pretty good uh, story-driven game where choices make a difference, I believe. And I, I believe I beat this game. I don't have to look on my profile, but this is a used copy. I had the digital copy of it originally, so that's pretty sweet. Uh, if there's a manual for it, I have to go out and find it because I did get this at home. Um, where did I get this at? Oh, family video, but it's still a pretty sweet game. Um, when it first came out, yeah, like I said, I did the digital version of it, and it was pretty sweet. I liked it. And yeah. It can pull on your rent, you know, pull on your emotions and stuff like that with the game and stuff and some of the choices and stuff. It's pretty sweet. Next game, I was just going online looking up people that talk about hidden gems. This was this one was mentioned. I don't think I played this one yet. And that's binary domain. And I have to see if I did play it, but it looks like a a first like a like a third person shooter, it looks like, and looks like it's got like cover shooting and stuff like that and pretty sweet so you have to check it out let me know what you think of this game i'm going to definitely check it out because it's supposed to be a hidden gem and yeah well i'll find out man but yeah maybe it is pretty sweet this is one of my recent pickups too so that i got in the past what six months or so pretty awesome i guess we'll find out but hidden gem the next one is John Woo's Presents Stranglehold. Yes. Yes. That is pretty. This mostly looks pretty cool. Looks like a authentic John Woo experience. Most destructible environment ever created. Hard boiled. Looks like, like a good old world building type deal there in this game here. Pretty cool. It's like I never played this one, but I heard this one's pretty sweet. So this is going to be an awesome hidden gem. I forgot what people were referring this one to. I'm going to say Max Payne because it kind of reminds me of that. <laughs> looking at the, looking looking at everything in the in the game, but pretty sweet. Next one, I played quite a bit of this one. Um, I think originally I had a, a backup on the PC. I played this one on, and then I got the, the game later. But it's Conan. This version of Conan was pretty fun. I had a lot of fun with it. Not a lot of people know about this game, but it's Conan. So just think about combat with Conan. You got your big old sword and all that. Yeah, if I remember correctly, the combat was pretty decent. I mean, you know, it's not the greatest game in the world, but it's still a good hidden gem to check out if you haven't had a chance to check it out. But Conan. 
This one is a hidden gem, but a lot of people are starting to pick up on it, and that's 3D Dot Game Heroes. Yeah, kind of like a Minecraft in a way when you look at it. Kind of, kind of looks like that. But pretty sweet 3D Dot Game Heroes. I think I played some of this. Remember, how, you know, creating things in this game, but pretty sweet. Next one, I got to get the gold edition of this game here. So I can put it with, unless I do have the gold edition, I just didn't realize it. I got to look, but I bought my day one copy. I bought, you know, brand new and that's a uh, naughty bear. <laughs> this game is a lot of fun. A lot of people don't, didn't uh, pick up on this game when it first came out, but it's a pretty fun game. They got a gold edition with it has all the DLC, I think, and with it. And I think I have it somewhere, but I'll look. But this game is a lot of fun. The bear is just... <laughs> raunchy yeah raunchy raunchy bear but it's got teen violence so uh, i don't think there's any swearing if i remember correctly i just remember there was a, this game was a lot of fun so yeah check it out this one's starting to fall into obscurity and stuff like that a lot of people are forgetting about this game and it's it's sad because this game was pretty sweet and even then it got like mediocre reviews but when you got ozzy osborne and jack black in it and you got lemmy kravitz and yeah this is brutal legends really awesome game if you haven't had a chance to play this one play it it is a fun 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 game and like I like the open roadness. I like the rock, the, the metal music in it. You get to you get to see Ozzy Jack Black does the the voice of the main character. Awesome game. Here's one that definitely um is a hidden gem and underrated, and it got mediocre reviews when it first came out. And that's Body Count. This game I had a lot of fun with. I bought this one new when it first came out. And I had a lot of fun with it. I remember uh, one of my other buddies bought this game, too. And I think we got online and played it for a little bit. And we had fun. It's a, it's a first-person shooter. It's not like Call of Duty or nothing like that. But it's still a fun first-person shooter. It's got a single-player campaign on it. So check it out. Intense arcade fights. Tear apart the environment. Rack up your body count. Remember, there was a lot of guns in this game here. So, yeah, check that one out. Body count. Another hidden gem here. I went through this and played through this game a while back, and that's Folklore. It's one of those early launch titles for the PS3. And this is one game I'm hoping that PlayStation remakes eventually. Yeah, this would be pretty sweet. But, yeah, it's, 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 it's an awesome single-player campaign game. I mean, it's pretty sweet. And so it's, just, it's one player, you know. It's awesome. Folklore. You know, you know, Google it. Check out some gameplay of this. I mean, you can see why this one's a hidden gem. This one's borderline hidden gem because a lot of people talk about this game, but a lot of people don't play it, and that's Sleeping Dogs. And this is like the Grand Theft Auto of Japan, I'm thinking. Yeah, um, yeah Hong Kong, which is pretty sweet. So it's like a Hong Kong, Hong Kong version of Grand Theft Auto, but Sleeping Dogs. It's a pretty sweet game. Open world. Go check it out. Awesome. Last game I'm going to show you, which I'm still going to play this one. A lot of people talk about this being a real good hidden gem, and that's Puppeteer. This is one of my recent pickups, too. So yeah, i got to get on this one and play it. And... I'm glad I got this one because I heard this one really awesome to play. So definitely check out the Puppeteer. Like any of these games, you can Google them. You can check out videos on it. And you, you'll see that some people playing the game. It's pretty sweet. But don't spoil yourself if you got a PS3. Just go get, you know, go find it. It's still not a very inexpensive game. You can get it cheap enough. I mean, if you could pay $60 for a new game or $70 for a new game, you can afford Puppeteer. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, those are some good hidden gems right there out of my collection there. Definitely uh, a lot more than that. That's just something I pulled out real quick like. I've been really busy working on my car, so yeah. So I had to do a quick hidden gem video. But if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. You know, like, give me a thumbs up. Comment down below what's a good hidden gem on the PS3. 
I have it. I'll try it out and play it and see if it's any good. Let me know what ad you guys get this time. Someone got a T-Mobile ad. So at least I got something that's technology-wise going on my uh, ads. But, yeah. All right. But I'll check you all in the next video. I ain't got to go to work tonight. Don't go back to the 15th. So it's going to be a long two weeks for me. <laughs> but I've been keeping busy. So check you in the next video. Fun times, everybody. Bye.